the American Cancer Society franchise. About 1,735,350 new cases of cancer will be diagnosed, with about 609,640 of these people dying in the U.S. alone. Cancer rates are growing, and in 2030, it is expected that there will be 23.6 million new cancer cases per year. Cancer has been a disease that has been killing people since the beginning of time, but now it is running more rampant than ever. To help stop this disease, the American Cancer Society was created in 1913 and has grown and developed into a nationwide, community-based, voluntary health organization dedicated to eliminating cancer as a major health problem. The American Cancer Society is known for their research, emotional support, fight for policy change, and endless information. This organization is exactly what society needs, so turning this organization into a transmedia franchise would not only boost their publicity and help them all stay alive, but would also bring in more donations and help raise awareness. Utilizing seven different types of media and marketing resources, the American Cancer Society will win the race and become the largest transmedia franchise to help fight for cancer prevention, research, and awareness. The most vital part of it all would be the website. As this organization has been around for hundreds of years, the website has had time to be constantly revamped and revisited. It is extremely successful and will continue to be the heart of this operation. Each time a new piece of media gets added, the website will become its spokesperson of sorts, and it will be required that a new page gets added for every new resource. The website will be the main source of information. After the website, there will be three more types of digital media. They include Facebook, radio shows, and commercials. First, there is the utilization of Facebook. Everybody goes on Facebook, and currently there have been a lot of different organizations fundraising on the page. To take it a step further, we would use Facebook for a more personal connection. People will be able to tell their stories, giving people reason to donate. Here is a perfect example. Lucy's Lifeline. It will draw people in and give them a personal connection that won't let people say no. It is much easier to say no to an organization compared to a cute little girl. As you can see, this page shows the person's story, what they're fighting against, and what they're fundraising for. Then there are the radio shows. These are very popular in the morning, and many organizations use them to spread awareness and organize. The perfect example is the Eric and Kathy show. Every year they have a radio sound to raise money for the Ann and Robert H. Lurie Children's Hospital of Chicago. This helps raise awareness and bring in donations, as the mix has helped raise about $30 million for the hospital. The last form of digital media are the commercials. Currently, the American Cancer Society does have commercials, but I believe they should be changed. For a topic as sensitive as cancer, people's heartstrings can be tugged. Some perfect examples are Sarah McCacklin's animal cruelty videos. Everybody remembers these videos as they hit them somewhere different. These commercials would be guaranteed to stick in people's heads, so even if they don't donate, they are aware of the organization. Then there is the print media. One of the strongest points of the American Cancer Society is the distribution of their pamphlets. It gets the word out and helps deepen people's understanding. The amount of pamphlets should expand though. The majority are about prevention and I believe that there should be more for people for after diagnosis and some pamphlets explaining the research that is being done with the money given to them. This would help spread awareness and tell people what they are donating to. Then there are the other forms of campaigning. One thing that I think the American Cancer Society should start doing is send out types of gifts for donations. People love to pat themselves on the back for being a good human being and this would only give them an extra boost and encourage them to keep on donating. A good idea is to send out information regarding the type of cancer that they are helping, the person's story of whom they are helping, and colored ribbons depending on the type of cancer if they donate more than $50. Overall, I believe this combination of old and new media would help create an everlasting transmedia franchise. Creating this franchise will expand in the American Cancer Society to help research cancer and support families even more than it does now.